Hello everybody, how are you? I hope you're great. I'm sorry for not uploading for a while. I've been away and had no place to film and no internet to upload. But today I'm going to do this Primark haul. It's not as big as it seems, plus there are some other bits and pieces in there that I'm just going to throw in from other shops. So let's get started. So first thing that I'm going to show you is this pair of boots that I got in Primark. These are the only shoes I got. They are really interesting, like I really like them. They have this metallic -y embroidery on it. I feel like it looks like Sakura, uh, but they're really cute and they were just 13 euros. I'm gonna uh, say the prices in euros because I uh, went to Primark in Germany. Uh, so they have obviously euros. So these were 13 euros and this is like such a bargain. Honestly, Primark is such a bargain. Great quality, I like clothes for super cheap like honestly next thing is another like accessory so i wanted a shoulder bag are these called shoulder bags i think for the longest time ever it's a bit like out of shape because um obviously it was in a suitcase whilst we were going home with some other stuff so i just need to like shape it a bit before wearing it uh, and this is how it looks. This has this little bee on it and it is like super cute. When I first saw it, I was, I only saw the chains and I was really afraid that it, like the whole handle is going to be with chains and don't really like this kind of bags. But there is enough chain, enough pleathery kind of thing. And this is really cute and it was just 10 euros, which is ridiculous. Like a, a bag for 10 euros, you can't find it anywhere in Russia. The next thing is finally for the clothing. I am going to try to make this haul a try on one, but don't hold me for my word. So this is the skirt I bought. It's again, pleather material. It's The color is not really, it's shown turquoise on camera, but it's not really. It's uh, a gray slash blue color in real life. And it's so cool. This was just 11 euros. And the best thing about it, like you can see those pockets. It's, it is an actual pocket, like my iPhone SE, iPhone SE fits in this pocket, it's ridiculous, it's so good, it's such a great quality, it's so nice honestly, and 11 euros is just a bargain as I said. The next bit that I got is this little Harry Potter mm, pyjama set, I was so excited when it came into Primark because it was like Harry Potter stuff, oh my god. And a funny story, they have these little ribbons on them with like it shows which pyjama set it is and a size small which I got didn't have this thing, it was just without a ribbon, they were just laying there. So what I did is I took this ribbon off a size medium and put it on the set of pyjamas that I got, I don't know, I just needed this ribbon. So I got this in memory of Fred and George because it had a, a different one which was so cute and it was a uh, blue like dark blue and stuff but I got this one and it has Marauder's map on it and it says I solemnly swear that I'm not up to no good and this is a t-shirt this is a size small I could I could have done with an extra small but the t-shirt fits perfectly it's the perfect size for the pajamas but the um, like bottoms could be a little um, tighter they're really loose on me but they have different patterns on them and they have like this little thing at the end these joggers are so pretty. They have like moons on them and the Marauder's Map and the quotes and stuff. And they also have this little tie, like this little bow. I just am in love with this. And it was 13 pounds, which is like the same as boots. That like is crazy about Primo that I don't really get their prices. They're good, but I don't really get them. Like boots and pajama set, they cost the, the same. It's ridiculous. But if you want a pajama set, but you do not like want to pay 13 pounds for this. Uh, this is actually my mom's. But um, this was seven, seven euros. Did I say pounds before? I don't really know. But this is just the same kind of pajama. Here's the t-shirt. It's just simple pink. And then here are the bottoms. They are connected together, so I can't really show them properly. But the bottoms are not really the same. They kind of like flare out the end, at the end. But I believe there were bottoms that had um, those things at the end, at the ankles. They kept them together. And this was seven euro, euros. So if you need a pyjama set, 
but you are not ready to spend 13 euros on a uh, Harry Potter pajama set, I was ready to, then you can buy this one for 7 euros. Next thing is again Harry Potter related, I didn't actually buy too many things because we were kind of quick in there and we had only one suitcase, we actually had to buy another one which is pretty embarrassing uh, and we had to buy a bag from Primark. Uh, but this is from a Harry Potter collection. I will be saving all of these things. This was 10 euros. It's a really good price for a t-shirt. Here's how it looks. It's grey. It has all of the stitches out, which is really like grungy. Uh, it has a Hogwarts crest on it, which I really, really love. Um, they were really cool t-shirts with uh, just your house um, crest and the name of the house. I'm obviously Ravenclaw, but the thing about me is that I'm a Ravenclaw but I'm also kind of a Slytherin and for the Slytherin they also had it but they also had some socks that had frills on them and I really wanted to buy a Ravenclaw t-shirt and Slytherin uh, socks and ruffles and just wear it together but alright, <laughs> I didn't uh, this is a little t-shirt for my friend hopefully she doesn't watch it but it was 8 euros and it had a sale so it was 3 euros but I would, would have bought it even if it was 8 because she loves mermaids she loves a little Ariel and it says mermaid in training and it has an Ariel uh, with flounder and it has this kind of like a baseball tee design. really hope she doesn't watch this video because it's a birthday present. Uh, but I'm sure she wouldn't. I'm sure she won't. I'm just going to tell her to watch my list video. Uh, next thing I bought was this sweater. It's really pretty. It was 13 euros. Again, 13 euros. Um, and it is this kind of sweater with the little cutouts at the, um, on your arms and on your shoulder and it's just this grey, it's pretty long for me it's the size 4, I didn't really tell you the, the sizes but for me it's mostly the size 4 in pretty much everything except pyjamas pyjamas are 6, I suppose like small is 6 isn't it? yeah it's 6 to 8 and then something else in here I think this t-shirt, yeah yeah, this t-shirt is 6 as well. I don't know, I thought my size was 6 because I forgot that the size 4 existed, but actually my size is 4 and pretty much not. But the t-shirt is just going to be a little bit more loose, so whatever. So this sweater, I love it. Then, this is actually bought in Amsterdam. I also bought little um, fragrance, like little perfume in Amsterdam, which was 2, Euro, two euros fifty, And it just has a really sweet smell and it's just like... A little thing so yeah we went to Amsterdam and this is what I bought here it doesn't have a label but I remember it was six euros and mine says um, Palm Springs California my mum says joyful and she has like a little blue one but I went for a pink it's so cute I love it so much I love Primark so much I fell in love with Primark honestly this is all in the bag I hope hopefully like I really want if I had Primark in my country I don't know what I would do I will go there like every single day. I also got this uh, fake nails that I want to do a separate video on, like testing them, testing the glue and stuff. I just forgot to show them in the video, so here they are. So, whilst we are done with Primark, I'm also going to show you a couple of things that I bought um, from Cotton. I don't really know if you have Cotton or not, but if you are going to Germany, go, first of all, go to Germany in a sale season somewhere either in Ju July or before Christmas but I think before Christmas it will be like hectic it was hectic like right now but whatever because the sales are incredible like I'm gonna tell you the prices you're gonna freak out so we went to cotton I don't really know if you have it but here's how like the um, shop brand looks like so this is the first sh shirt that I bought it's super nice it's silky material it was 20 euros at the beginning, so 19.99, and it was reduced to 9.99, so it was reduced to 10 euros. And 10 euros for a shirt like this is like a bargain, honestly. Next shirt I got because this is for school, and for school we are allowed like sh like you know office like classic clothes. I mean, not a lot of people actually <laughs> do it, but again, this shirt was. I think it was as well 19.99 because a lot of them were 19.99 from the beginning but now it was yet again 9.99 euros or like 10 euros and it's really nice all of them have long sleeves have little cuffs and this one is crazy stripes 
I love stripey, so whatever. The thing that blew me out of my freaking mind, and the thing, yeah, just these jeans, okay? These jeans are in Carmen, Nostal Carmen high waist skinny cotton jeans. Um, this is size 25. I don't understand their sizes because some of their sizes in like 34, which is like understandable, and then their size is like 25. Like, what the hell is that? So here's how they look at the waist and they go these ones are a bit uh, like um these are dark blue by the way at the end they're not as skinny as i would like them to be so they kind of like whatever so if i roll them up a bit they will look perfect but yeah and these were please attention where else are you gonna find this 7.99 seven euros like eight euros for a pair of jeans this is incredible for a pair of good quality jeans and the last ones I've had are these Carmen High Waist Skinny. This is also, I don't understand, they are a bit different styles. This one is in the size 34. And they aren't just the same jean in different color because they have like different buttons and stuff. And these ones fit perfectly, honestly, perfectly. I will get so much wear of them for school. And the last thing I bought was in Moscow. But if you would have, if I would have gone in Germany to pull a bear or something like that, I would have found this dress. It actually doesn't have a price tag on it, but we didn't pay much for it. It was like 400 rubles, which is 400 rubles is not much at all, especially for pull and bear and especially for a dress. So here's how this dress looks like. It is so cute, honestly, people. It is so cute. I love it so much. It has this flowery pattern. It's really nice. What I love about it is long sleeves because I don't particularly like my arms. I don't really know how to explain it. But yeah, so this is perfect. This would be like incredible with some tight black tights, like really thick black tights and some brown boots. I have them. It would be just incredible. So this is all for my haul. This was kind of like a Primark slash Germany slash one thing from Russia haul and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and hopefully this haul was try on. I'm going to, like, I'm not just saying this, I am going to try and film the clips of me wearing the clothes. The thing is I don't really have a pretty background on which to film it so they might turn out the way I don't like them but I will try my hardest. So yeah, see you in my next video. Bye!